Next up, we have Nina, the founder and managing director of the first Filipino-run international school in Singapore. She is also a certified public accountant in the Philippines who migrated with her family to Red Dot in 2009. A mother of three and a devoted wife to her husband, Gary, she is an active member of the Business Network Group, or BNG Singapore, a group of Filipino business leaders operating in the country that collaborates for common good of our dear kababayans. She advocates for the hashtag BeYoutiful, calling to help others achieve their highest potential. She will talk about Call to Be Beautiful, understanding the beauty of your personal calling through education. Live streaming from Singapore, ladies and gentlemen, Nina Sulit Kakananta. Hi, good afternoon everyone, good evening and good morning to the rest of the world who's currently watching this live summit. Um, Nina Lynn Sulit Kahananta, the founder and managing director of HFSE International School, the first Filipino-run international school here in Singapore. <laughs> I am deeply honored to be invited as one of the keynote speakers. I always feel that whenever I'm invited to share our happy story to others, there's a deep message that God wants me to share to everyone. So before I forget, I would like to thank you for listening and spending your precious time with us, with all of us, with the rest of the 22 speakers. You're greatly appreciated and loved, especially to our families here in Singapore, to our HFSE family, to my family back in the Philippines, to all of my friends all over the world. Hi. Yeah, you're listening to this summit. Not just because you're supporting your friend, relative, colleague, boss, or loved one. You're here because God wants to ignite that dream that he puts into your heart to become a reality. And I hope that tonight or to this afternoon, I'll be able to be one of that fuse with the rest of the fuse women here that will support and encourage you to fulfill it because God is calling, is asking you to say yes to his calling. Yeah. <laughs> it's very much um, nakakaba po kasi maragagaling po yung mga nakalinya sa atin ngayong araw na to and I'm very much really privileged. So we are called by God in many different um, ways. For me, as a wife, as a mother, as a leader and as an educator but you know never in my lifetime i ever thought of being a school founder <laughs> much much more in an overseas life i never thought of even being a teacher much more of a school owner maybe a business owner as most of us here but because i was raised by an accountant and grew with a sari sari store God, but God, God called us to where we can flourish and bloom. And I have accepted that this calling that I have answered, even I am an accountant, I become, I was lying to being in the industry of education. And I would like to share with you what are my learnings and my current learnings and over uh, everyday learnings. And I hope that these learnings can really inspire you and can help you say yes to God because you are called to be beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, what does be beautiful mean? Oh, yeah. We, we have to understand the, what does be beautiful mean. That means be yourself to fullness. When we are when we are called to a particular um, calling or particular mission, God is calling us to just be ourselves. Whatever it is that God has given us, we are already, we are, that's all what we need. Yun yung kailangan mo. Nandun na yun sa iyo. So, 
But I want to give another acronym to BYTF. Yeah. For this particular summit, I want to give that um another name, another name. So for B, the first one is B, is do your best. Uh, be the best that you can be. Compete only with yourself. You know, sometimes um back in the when I was still young, I find competition very uncomfortable. Nahirapan po akong sumali. Kasi for me, I don't want competition. I want more of like, I just wanted to uh, do my what I love and what I do best. But later on, as I understand the concept of competition, it's not just, it's not competing with other people. It's competing with yourself. And in Asia of SE, we, we are actually rolling on the dice. And dice means... Discipline, integrity, consistency, and excellence. Yang dice na yan, kailangan natin para maging magaling tayong, magaling tayong tao nila lang. At kung ano man yung binigay sa atin ni Lord, mapapaganda natin. So, um, our mindset should be always to give our best all the time in whatever circumstances we may be. That if you do your best and still land on the first, second place or third place, you remain a winner. Um, because what you have done to that is you you did your best. Ginawa mo yung kayang-kaya mo. And that already made you the winner. And if you happen to be in the first place, you should continue to work with your task to make it better and better. Um, it's not about winning against other, but overcoming the previous best that of your new best. Be the best version of yourself. Yeah. So next one is to be you. You. That means build you. Build yourself. Build your own universe. When you say um, your own universe, I have this favorite author. It's he is um. Paulo Coelho, uh, one of uh, his uh, book called the um, his one of his book says, whatever you want, so, when you want something, all the universe conspire in helping you achieve it. When I I wanted to share with you and relate with you during the time that when we came in here back in two thousand and nine. My 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 own um, dream is only to have a greener pasture. Sa magkaroon kami ng magandang buhay, especially that I'm still a young mother then. Um, I just gave birth and we need, we want to have a, a greener pasture in Singapore. And Singapore is something that we thought we can put up our, our family. But at the end of the day, there are a lot of things that's happening. Things that I didn't want to happen. And then I realized we just have to build ourselves. Build our yourself, your own universe. You can create your own world. You can define what's going to have in it, what's going to be in that, in that particular world. When I put up HFSE, when I was called in to build this wonderful community, I was very hesitant because I thought, um, how can I do this? How can I make this community a better community? How can I further help other people? In that particular universe that I wanted to build in, there are things that's happening around. And in that universe that includes myself alone, that are, as mentioned by previous speakers then, maraming kukalaban tayo sa sarili nating mundo. And with that's within in ourselves, our inner, inner battle, yung laban natin on are we good enough? Are we enough for this particular task? Or are we, kaya ba natin gawin yung mga bagay na, gan, na tinawag sa atin ni Lord? And while we are building those, um, those self, our confidence in ourselves, Marami tayong kalaban. And yung kalaban na yun ay may dalawang bosses. Yung sa universe na binubuo natin, may dalawang bosses. And we have to choose 
which voice we have to listen to? Yung bang bosses na nagsasabing hindi mo kaya yan? Hindi hindi mahirap yan? Mako, ma madaming gagawin diyan. Mahirap, ma, ma, hindi 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 madali ang mag-put up ng school. Pero alam mo sa sarili mo and you were you were really cool to put up because that's something that God puts in your heart is really building you building you to become better and better i tell you there may be quite a number of people who were amazed on what i have achieved because they thought i cannot i can do it but there are also other people who who were amazed because i can uh, but they didn't do they didn't thought i can do it during that growing yung habang bata before i was um when i was um during my growing up year there were a lot of uh people who whom i met um and probably are part of that beautiful story that give me uh have said many things that put me to not believing in myself in that particular there are many noise murmuring around that i'm not good enough i am not beautiful enough i listened to them i took some of the remarks by heart let it struck like a sword and has really put myself with a very slow low self-esteem and I, when i was growing up i was also put i put a facade that i i can do it but deep within in my own universe i was hurting i was feeling low and then i realized that i need to build my you my own universe that universe and that particular person is the only person that is on my universe is myself going to pull you that tells me i can do it that particular universe wherein i have i want to build i can do it i am good enough i am the the child of god and when i was able to build that particular universe thereafter ayun nagpunta na tayo doon sa susunod na letter sa t trust trust yourself trust god when you trust god you're already giving all your 100% on whatever calling that he is asking you balik po tayo sa story ng HFSE ng Happy Family School of Excellence back in 2016-15 when I was doing um, the feasibility study as bilang accountant, kailangan po natin yun. When I was doing the feasibility study ng HFSE, I, I was really very enthusiastic. Uh, I don't know where the enthusiasm comes in. But I know for a fact, kailang kakayani ko ba to? Parang hindi ko naman magagawa. I was given that particular dream in my heart na I really want to help other people. And this is my dream, to help others, to help them to become their fullest potential. And that is the dream that God puts in my heart. But then after, meron kaming, ano, meron kaming battle with God. And how when I was not, uh, when I was on my my moment of saying yes, saying yes to the calling that he asked me. I I asked God, can I really do it? Do I have all these things that um I need? Kasi accountant lang naman ako. I don't teach. I did homeschool my son, but I didn't teach. Pero I know kayong lahat and those who are watching right now, God put that dream in you because he believes that you can do it that particular dream he has given you all those uh, mga kailangan mo para ma-fulfill mo yung calling na yun so kung 
at hindi lang naman ikaw ang gagawa ng college. Hindi lang ikaw, hindi lang ako, hindi lang isang tao ang may gum ang gagawa ng mission. Ang mission ng ni Lord para sa iyo ay eh, makasama sa mission ng ibang tao. Sa sa happy family nung kami nagsisimula po. Bawat tao na dumating, they came in at the right time. And even at this point in time, they came in at the right time and uh, they they go at the right time as well. There are a lot of things that you are uh, during that particular time na na akala mo uh, na hindi na matutuloy or you're on the deepest valley of your life or journey. Uh, Doon pa rin tayo humuhugot na binigyan tayo ng pagkakataon ni Lord na mag-serve sa community and that particular dream that God put in you, He has lined up na plano na ni Lord ang lahat na mangyayari sa life natin and we just have to trust Him. Kung ano yung mga, kung sino yung mga taong ibibigay niya <laughs> at kung sino yung mga taong magpapabuti at magpapa uh, to make you serve yourself to be better. Ayan po. So, we have to trust God. We have to give our full trust with God. That means when, when we, we are trusting God, we are also trusting ourselves that whatever decision you have made, whatever, uh, kung ano man yung mapuntahan mo dahil dito at ito yung, it, ito yung plano at ito, ito yung dinadirect sa'yo ni Lord. That means that it's also, it is its will. Diba po? Um, I sh- one sh- uh, a sister shared to me, <laughs> a sister shared to me, sabi nila, um, what if Mama Mary, kay, yung ano ba yung sobrang ano, diba? Nakaka-inspire yung, yung yes ni Mama Mary to bear Jesus. That's that's also a recon, recon to me. Kasi what if I didn't say yes to God to put up the HFSD International School or to put up the Homeschool Support Center. Paano na kaya yung ibang mga, paano kaya yung ibang family? What, this particular yes that God is being asked, uh, yung tinatawag ni Lord sa iyo, kung ano man yan na uh, you're still contemplating, you're still um, hesitant to do, or a dream that you wanted to do, or you're still um, not sure if you're it is really what uh ayan yung talang gusto n- just just remember how i yes to god made all of us to be saved diba yung yes ni mama mary and for me i would always wonder when uh yung time na ayo kung tanggapin <laughs> ang calling to put up an each of us uh, the school because i I knew for a fact having a business more of a uh, having a school is entails a lot a lot and I mean a lot <laughs> of challenges and I've been through that um, I'm just glad that for this particular calling in this kind of field in education God is really giving you that enough patience enough love enough uh, forgive um, enough um necessi- necessity traits that you need na kakayanin mo yung 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 calling yung journey yan so yung 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 trust natin kay Lord uh nandiyan lang yun and of course yung ang um, that particular dream and i would quote in a in a story sa bible as well na yung master seed di ba the master seed is very small. And that very small is the master seed that God is putting in your heart. Um, kung gusto niyo magkaroon ng business or kung gusto niyo magkaroon ng um, whatever, bi- um, another school, di ba? Or another uh, good possession or role in, in whatever company or you want to have a, to build a family or you want to go abroad or you want to whatever it is that the dream that God has put with you, that dream, you need to nurture it. And that dream is really what God wants you to do. And He has given you all those things na kailangan nyo para ma-fulfill yung mission nyo. Yan. So, 